Today's Can You Build It? We will be trying to build some play money. This is money that has a raised rim and then the denomination printed on it. Keep watching to learn how to build this play money. This challenge only uses three different brushes. I'm going to start off by pulling a cylinder out and then a second cylinder. When I view from the top, I can easily change the diameter of the cylinders. I want to make one larger than the other, but I want it to be even. If I hold down shift and click the corner, I can transform it evenly. That means that the height and the width are changing at the same time. Next, I can make it a bit shorter. I'm going to have it be about five tall. I'm going to use the align tool a lot in this because I want this second pillar perfectly lined up inside this first one. I select both objects I want to align. I go up to Icon Align, and then I get my Align menu popping up. The really great thing about the Align menu is it shows you what it's going to look like. Okay, yes, I both want them together. Hmm, that's not quite right. When I hover over this one, ah, that looks much better. That's what I was going for. I can click off to dismiss the Align. I want a ridged edge around my coin. So I'm going to lift this up a little bit and then change it to be a hole. So I can click the shape I want, click hole. And we can see it becomes transparent, making it a hole. We apply the hole by selecting the hole and the material that we want the hole to be out of. I'm going to drag select and go up to the group. As you can see, when I click group, that makes the hole take a chunk out of the other cylinder. I'm going to now drag out some text. You edit the text by going over to the text and typing in what you want. And I want this one to say five, five cents but it's much too big for our coin i can click on it and again using that shift key when i click the corner it will transform the length and the width at the same time without holding that shift it will get all skewed and it might not be the shape that i want Simply by holding shift, it will maintain the same ratio. I can resize and position it to the center of my coin. See, I don't know if that's exact. It might be over here a little bit. This is where the align tool comes in again. I select everything I want to align, and I go up to align, and I can preview what's going to happen. When I click this, it will center the 5C. When I click this, it will center it vertically. I now know that that 5C is perfectly aligned within my coin. Let's look down at the side. I want the 5C to be in line with the top, and it looks like it is. If it wasn't, ooh, don't want everything selected. If it wasn't, I would be able to see that. And it's very easy for me to fix that by clicking this white box at the top. The white box allows me to adjust its height. This is also a great chance for me to introduce the different views you can use. We have orthographic view, which looks a little funny. In this case, 
no lines that are parallel will ever appear to touch. That makes it so when I view it from the side, what I see from the side, if things aren't touching, then they're not touching. Or if they look at the same height, they're the same height. Compare that to perspective view, where it's now a little bit harder to tell if everything's perfectly lined up. If I want to finish my object, I can select it all, and I can group it. And now it is one object, and this is ready to be printed. If I wanted to make another coin, I could select everything, control C for copy, control V for paste, move it over, and then edit the text to say maybe 10C. This one would need to be resized and then realigned. And in this case, it looks like I have to make it just a little bit taller, the text. That's not the text. There we go, now it's the same height. I hope you had fun trying to make this shape. If you have a change or a better way to do it or a modification to this to make it even cooler, let me know.